Hello self perfector So in this video we're going to deploy this Python code on AWS Lambda. So previously we created this project to generate QR code images using Python. So first of all we're going to delete this file. We don't need this. This is a simple Python script created by PyCharm. So let's delete this. So what we need to do, we must go into AWS console. Then we look for Lambda, we search for Lambda in the search box. Okay, great. So well, now we must go here and then click to create new Python function, create new function, sorry. I'm gonna call it QR code generator. Then you're gonna select Python 3.9. We're gonna select the x86 architecture and that's basically it for now and then click to create function okay great so now here we have a basic lambda function created by aws lambda so we can say anything that we want here like hello self improver so we click here to deploy our changes and then we click to run. I'm going to create a basic event here. I'm going to call it event1. So this is the JSON that we pass to the function. I'm going to say for example message and I'm going to delete these two. Then click on save and then click to test. So this is the basic execution of our Lambda function. So what we need to do to deploy our code here. The easiest way to do this is by, by zipping the whole code and then deploying there. So let's do this. I'm going to create a folder here called scripts. And then I'm going to create a simple bash script. Call it zip. Python code .sh. It's going to be bin bash. So basically, what we do is we call the zip minus recursive. And I'm going to call the file qr code generator .zip. Starting from here. And we're going to exclude the scripts folder and anything inside of it. Oh yeah, first of all we need to go back because we are in a subdirectory. So we go back to the root and that's basically it. So by this script we were going to zip our Python project. Let's run it. So perfect, this is our Python code. Oh yeah, first of all, we need to create our basic lambda function file here. I'm gonna call it lambda, what was the name again? Lambda function. Lambda function. I'm gonna copy and paste this basic code here. And paste it here. And then we run our, our script again to zip the content. Okay, great. So what we need to do now, we need to Click to upload from, and then a zip file. So this is our code. Click to upload, and then save. Okay. Okay, great. So here you can see that we have our basic code, the QR code service, the poetry files, and the file we choose. So we're gonna make some changes here to call the QR code service from this Python code. So first of all, we're gonna make some tests here to show you something. So we see that in a Lambda function, if we call it print in the event and print in the context, let's see what we have. Click to deploy to deploy the changes and then test it out. So here we can see that the first print output that we have here is the event and the second is the context. So the event is the message that we pass to the Lambda function 
and the context is some metadata related to the execution from this lambda function. So in our case, what we need to manipulate is the event object. So let's delete this. Let's retry it. And then test it again. So we can see that here we have a JSON object with the message and the value. So we can use this, for example, to pass the message that's going to be used for generating the QR code image. Great. So now let's import the the function from the QR code service layer, the QR code service file, uh, and the function from the from QR code service import generate image. Okay, so as you can see, the eve the message came from the event object in an attribute called message as we specified before and then we can print for some this message when we run this you'll see that the code will not work because we have to configure the lambda layers for AWS lambda but let's keep going So you see that the code will fail because we don't have the QR code library and we don't have the pillow library properly installed. So I already did this previously. I'm gonna explain to you in a different video because it was a bit tricky to set up pillow correctly, but I'm gonna explain to you how, how you can do this in a different video. So I'm just going to set up a lambda layer that I already created. Uh, custom layers. Here I have the QR code layer. And I'm also going to install pillow from a link that I found before. So basically here we have, there's a public link on the internet with a lot of Python libraries for you to set up with AWS Lambda. So in our case, what we need is this pillow for US East 1. So I'm gonna copy this ARN. Copy. Then I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna specify by ARN. Then paste the, the ARN here. You can verify if you want to. Here we can see that we have a pillow version 9.2.0. That which is compatible to Python 3.6 up to Python 3.9. Click to add. Perfect. So we need to also configure something because pillow is a dependency for the QR code library. So the pillow layer has to be ported first. So we're going to merge it earlier and then we save. Perfect. So now let's test it again. Here we can see that we don't we don't have any errors anymore. But now we need to make some changes in the code to read the message and then pass it to the QR code function to generate the QR code image. And then we return the QR code image from the Lambda function. So let's do this. So this is the message attribute. And then we need to call the generate image function, passing the message. And if you remember well, previously we defined that this function actually returns the path for the QR code that we generated before. So for example, once we generate the QR code image, this function returns the path in the current machine. So let's see this happening in the in the lambda function. File path. It's this. So here we're gonna return, for example, the file path. This is a local path in the machine that runs the AWS Lambda function, which is the file path. Right. Deploy. 
Oh, uh, damn, run. So here we can see that our function is properly working on AWS Lambda, but this is the path for the file in the Lambda machine. So what we need to do, we need to load this image and then return it from the Lambda function. So I'm gonna make some changes to the file you to use. I'm gonna create a new function here, which is capable to load the image and to return it as a binary file. So here it is our function. So what we're doing here, I created a function called load binary file, and we pass a local file path, and then we use the with open from Python to load the file path as a binary. RB stands for read binary. Then we read the binary file, and then we return it. Let's save this redeploy let's go back to our lambda function and now here we pull this function from file utils import load binary file perfect so now we do this image it's going to be load binary file passing the file path Perfect. So besides this, in order to return a binary object from Lambda, you have to change the structure from the return a little bit. You have to follow this structure. Okay, great. So what we have here, first of all, we need to pass an object, an attribute called headers, and then we pass the content type. In our case, it's JPEG image and then we pass the content disposition attachment. So if you know a little bit about HTTPS, you know that this is a header attribute that we pass to HTTP requests. And then the status code, which is the HTTP status, 200 stands for okay, which means that our function worked well. And then we have to pass an attribute called body. And then our result will be this attribute. And we also need to return the image object as a base64 string. So how we can do this? We can import this Python library called base64. You don't need to install this. It came along with the default Python installation. Okay, so let's encode this image object as a base64 string. We can do it this way. That's the image, and then we pass it here. So we need to pass this object to this base64 dot base64 encodes as a UTF-8 string, and then we pass it here. Let's redeploy this. So once we have our code properly configured, let's test it out. We click to test. Perfect. So our code is working. Here we are returning a image as a base64 string and the response from the Lambda function. So in this video, I'm gonna attach some important links, like for example, the link for this page, which contains a lot of Python packages for you to use in your projects. In the next video, I'm going to, to connect this Lambda function with API gateways. So you can call this Lambda function from a public API so that's it. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.